Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel, especially to all my students, uh, connection, creativity, and uh, uh, cooperation. Okay, so today we're going to talk about illustrating theorems on triangle inequalities. And this is Math 8, uh, Module 1, actually, for Week 1. And this is for fourth quarter okay so we have here our pre-assessment so direction choose the letter of the correct answer write your answer on a separate sheet of P paper okay so um, which theorem states that if one side of triangle is longer than the other side then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side so okay so as we go on later no so you will know this okay so we have here um five okay so this is for number two then we have number three Right. Um, if you if you want to check this out, you can have four, and then we have five. Okay. Now, how are we going to illustrate um, this one? No? So we have. Investigate me. Right. So, what is the included side in angle B and angle C? So, we have your angle B and angle C. The included side is uh, this one. No? We have BC. And in angle E and in angle F, we have FE. What is the included angle in um, segment AC and angle C. Of course, we have uh, included angle is A. Okay, angle A. And DF and E and EF is F. Okay, so what is the sum of the inter angles of a triangle ABC? Of course, if we are going if we are going to find the sum of this, no, that is 180 degrees. Same also with DEF. Okay, so because the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if angle B is congruent to angle A. And angle C is congruent to angle F. Okay, this one and this one. Um, what? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, if angle B. So what additional information is required to tell that the triangles are congruent using SAS? Of course, um, two sides must be. Uh, congruent if we are going to use the sus congruence okay if ac is congruent to df no ac df yeah this one the two then or bc is congruent to uh, ef what additional information is required to tell that the triangles are congruent using is s of course we need three side so and we need another one so for example we have a b is congruent to d e so all right so let's go now to measuring angles and sides so we need it here a material of course you need a protractor ruler paper and pencil or pen so for our direction using a measuring tool construct an angle based on the given 
measurements of the angle and the length of the sides. Lastly, connect the endpoints of the side to form a triangle and find its measurement. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So an illustration is provided to guide you how to do the measurement. Okay, so given that side 1 is 3 inches and side 2 is 2 inches, Find the length between the angles of side of the following angles. So, for example, length between uh, each point in 33 degrees angle. So, of course, uh, probably you know already how to uh, measure the uh, angle of a tractor. If not, we're gonna I'm gonna change it. So, I'm gonna teach you how to do it, but you have to bring your materials. Okay, so we will do it on the next class. Okay, alright, so we have here a second example. Given that both sides of the angle measures 2 inches, find the length between the endpoints of the side and the angles measure. So, so we have here the length of the endpoints. So we have, for example, we have 30 degrees, 45 degrees. 90 degrees and 120 degrees angle. So we will do it one by one, okay? Uh, given that both sides of the angle measures 2 inches, find the length between the end points of side when the angle uh, measures. Okay, so here um, we need to really the materials to do it. So perhaps you bring the materials in the next le lesson that we get okay what can you say about the length of the side connecting the endpoints so what patterns are you, were you able to establish so after doing the uh, or while doing the activity we can answer this one or after doing the activity and then what can you say about the relationship of measures of angle and the length of the opposite side of course uh, that is understandable so you Okay, so is there a relationship between length of the side of a triangle and the length of the measure of opposite? So if you, our answer is yes, so indicate the relationship. Okay, this is quite a no no. So if, for example, if it's new to you, um, it's quite complicated, but it's easy, you know. Well, you will understand this when we have our next session, okay? Now, in extending the triangle, so we have, perhaps you still have your protractor, your ruler, your paper, and your pencil or pen. So using measuring tools, extend one side of the triangle form in the activity the, by measuring angles and side as illustrated below. Then supply the measurement of an angle to an angle tree in table. Write your answer. So we have here the table one. So we just extend the side here no okay so and then we have the interior angles the the lower okay then a uh, given the side one is two inches and two inches is three inches find the measurement angles two and three when the measurement of angle one is okay for example angle one is 30 45 90 120 so you are going to supply here now is there a relationship between the measurement of angle one and angle two how about okay so we're doing this we will uh have it one by one okay and i'm going to illustrate it into you physically now in inequalities in one triangle no so this is triangle all right okay so uh, compare the length of the sides of the following triangle so here we have a uh, side so we have the obtuse angle and an inter in an acute angle no so find the measure of the third angle the sum of all the angles in so the total of this is um 180 so this is what we are looking for so f or p f angle f plus angle u plus angle n is equal to 180 
And angle F is 50 plus 105 plus angle N is 80. So, therefore, uh, angle N plus 155 degrees is 180. Then, we're going to less one, one, I know, 155 here. That's why LN plus 0, the uh, N is 25. Or the angle N is equal to 25. So, how are we going to do this? So, first, we have the sum of the inner angles of the triangle. And then the sub we the second uh, we sub we get the substitution, and then we add fifty and one hundred five. Then of course we use the addition property of equality, and then identify the property of, of addition, and then play by simplifying is the last. So you have to simplify. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now look at the relative sizes of an angle and compare. So we can say that angle N is less than angle F and angle F is less than angle U. Now step three, following the angle side relationship, we can order the sides accordingly. Remember, it is a side opposite of an angle. So you, that's why we use this one because it's a symbol of sides. No? The segment FN is the longest side since it is opposite of the largest angle. So angle U while F, uh, FU is the shortest side while those opposite angles are N is measures 9, 25 degrees. Okay. So. Step two, compare the measurements of the angles of the following a triangle. Okay. Since the length of the sides are given, we can easily compare the lengths from the sides. So we could say that uh, AY is less than DA. Okay. And uh, DA is less than DY. All right. So following the angle side relationship, we can order the angles opposite to this accordingly. So therefore, angle A is the largest angle whose opposite to side dy, and whose side is six units. It uh, follows with other angles. Example one, example to illustrate the angle side relationship theorem. So, what is angle side relationship theorem? If two angles of the triangle are not congruent, then the larger side opposite the larger angle. So, and if two sides of triangle are not congruent, then the largest angle opposite to the larger side.